hey guys what's up welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show how you can root your nothing phone one and in future i will also make video of routing nothing phone one to upcoming nothing os update so please subscribe the channel to get the latest update and if you really found video helpful please hit like button this is going to be a detailed video which contents of unlocking the nothing phone one bootloader and routing the nothing phone one with magics now let's start with the routing process Let's enable the developer option first. Open the setting, go to about phone section and tab on the software info. On the next screen, tab on the build number 7 times until it says you are now a developer. Now developer option is enabled on nothing phone one. Now go back and tab on the system, then tab on the developer option. First enable USB debugging, then enable OEM unlock option, then input your lock screen pin or password if you have. Now plug your nothing phone one into your PC. Now open command prompt and type adv devices then hit enter. If you see your device serial number and it says authorized then you are good to go. If this is first time setting up adv for this device then you may see a prompt on your phone to enable usb debugging for your PC. Grant the permission. If your device serial number is not visible then try installing the latest android usb driver or check usb connection. Now reboot to the bootloader menu by entering the following command. Once you are in a bootloader menu, now we will use fastboot command to communicate with your device. Now type fastboot devices then hit enter then you should see your connected device. To unlock the nothing phone one bootloader enter the following command. Now you should see a text on the screen warning you about the potential risk of unlocking the bootloader. Press the volume up key until it says unlock the bootloader then press the power button. The phone will unlock the bootloader and reboot back to the bootloader menu. This time the bootloader will show a red warning icon. Now reboot your phone you can do this by fastboot command or simply press and hold power button for few seconds. Congrats your nothing phone one now has a unlocked bootloader. Now simply set up your device after setting it up we will move to next step which is routing your phone. Now you need to re-enable developer option also re-enable usb debugging. Download the full OTA zip corresponding to installed version on nothing phone one. At the time of making this video the latest version available for the nothing phone one is nothing os 1.1.0. Download directly from the link. And download two additional file which is payload number go for the pc and magic latest version apk. After downloading all three files, copy in a separate folder, then rename nothing OS zip to some meaningful name and then unzip it. Now untar payload dumber go and rename to small file name. Renaming is not required, you can do it without renaming it. Now copy payload.bin from nothingOS extracted folder to payload.dumbergo extracted folder. Now open cmd and navigate to payload.dumbergo extracted folder or simply type cmd in windows explorer address bar and enter. 
To extract boot image from payload.bin, enter following command. Now new folder will be created, go to that folder and copy boot.image to your nothing phone one, then copy Magix apk also. Install Magix in your nothing phone one and open it. Click on install then click on select a patch file and select the boot image that you have copied from PC. Then copy it to PC in a separate folder and rename it if you want. Now open the CMD and navigate to folder where you copied patch, boot image or simply type CMD in Windows Explorer address bar and enter. Then reboot to bootloader by following command. Now flash patched boot image by following command. Then restart by fastboot reboot. Congrats your nothing phone one has unlocked bootloader as well as root install in it. It's time to verify it. Now you should see install version in Magix. Download root checker apk and install it. Now open and click on verify root then you will prompt of allowing root access. 